So, uh, before I begin, uh, completely ignoring the needs of people that might later be watching this online, um, I intended to tailor what I have to say to the peculiar interests of, of people in the room. So, um, I know what you guys are doing, and I know a little bit about what you guys are doing, but um, what kind of levels of exposure to Drupal, expertise with Drupal, uh, interest in the community do we have kind of represented here? We have some people that are going to need to be working with it, theming for it. Some people that play around with it on the side. Where do where do kind of people people fall in general? I'm starting to get more into professional design, and I was just doing small sites here and there, and I want to be more into theming and making modules and stuff like that. So that's basically what I'm doing. Very good. That's that was how I came in. Was was like little bitty site building things and then a lot of theming, getting then later into module development and so. And I, I'm, I'm just a bit behind Steven, um, but as far as, you know, design, I'm, I'm kind of more personally interested in just uh, designing um, around Drupal. So I'm learning that um, along with some, some CSS and things of that nature. So. Excellent. So, um, I, I thought we might just kind of have a, a, you know, like, hey, this is the state of the community in town kind of thing. Um, in terms of people that are using it, I know Creighton University is more or less standardizing on it for some uses. Yeah, yeah. we're trying to <clears throat> make it like the central CLS, so we're working on getting the platform in order for everybody that wants to use it. And you, you mentioned the platform. Uh, are you guys still using Agar for your hosting? Yeah? Okay, great. That's, that's something that, uh, um, that would be of interest to anyone that, that, that wants to look into kind of mass hosting uh, of Drupal sites, um, a direction that we kind of considered at HDR for a little while but never pursued. Um, I know UNL also uses uh, Drupal quite a bit. Uh, Swanson Russell uh, uses Drupal for their, uh, Swanson Russell is a, a marketing agency or uh, is, that, is that the correct? Ever. Sure. Advertising. Yes. advertising agency, thank you. Yeah, so they're an advertising agency. We've got a few other advertising and marketing agencies uh, around Envoy in Omaha. And Eric, do you know of any, any more? Smaller one, Orthopedic Marketing Group uses Drupal quite a bit. Orthopedic Marketing Group, right. Yeah. Um, so uh, a, f a, few, uh, a few web producers, you, you might say, uh, the, that are putting stuff out on Drupal. Um, um, and uh, HDR uh, uses Drupal for their corporate web presence and for a couple of blogs and smaller applications. Um, and then we have some entities that are not themselves in the Omaha Lincoln area, uh, but who we might say are somewhat represented by the people that, uh, that work for them, like Dave works for Palantir or palantir.net. Um, uh, in case you go looking for it later on, make sure to make that distinction because there's another Palantir. Um, uh, I, uh, it, Eric, again, works for HDR. As of Tuesday, I'll be working for Acquia. Um, so, and... Uh, I got out of my categories, but Palantir and uh, Acquia don't like have presences here. But you know, we've got some people here that that uh, um, present from there. So um, there is not, um, you know, I, I mentioned before, like the the interest in the Nebraska community has kind of shifted uh, in the Lincoln direction. So most of the activity has been over there recently, um, in in the last ten months or, or more, I'd say. Uh, it's been, uh, we, ha we haven't had anything in this area. So I'm excited to see um, some stuff potentially moving back here and, and see, uh, you know, who makes the commute and who's already here and, and what gets provided for. So by all means, uh, take this opportunity today to kind of, uh, you know, meet some folks, do some networking and uh, express your interest and, um, you know, explain, explain to, to us what you want to get out of Drupal um, because that's why we're here is, is uh, hopefully to, to help you do that. So... Um, uh, John said that I'd make a few comments on uh, what, what I'm doing with Drupal, um, and uh, that, that will, uh, will be mostly in the context of HDR, HDR uh, 
up until uh, up until today. And as I mentioned, we uh, our corporate website hdrinc.com uh, is Drupal, and we have uh, a few blogs. Blink is the name of one. Blink.hdrinc.com. Uh, we've we've got um, kind of a um, um, we've got a, a platform called that our, our marketers refer to as the Go campaign site system. That this kind of a a publishing system for semi-technical um, marketers to use that that adds uh, creates some kind of uh, publishing capabilities with workflow and code vetting and and some security kind of controls so that you can let non non-technical people work with JavaScript without um, you know having your sessions stolen and sold to the highest bidder or something like that um, but uh, that that kind of is, you know, the state of things uh, at, at the moment. Um, uh, one thing that I thought might might be uh, of interest, uh, like the the most the the most regular contact that I've had uh, with kind of the Drupal community in the area over the course of the last year um, ha has been getting almost constant calls from recruiters <laughs> because. Um, and, and this, this is, will be of particular interest to uh, folks here that are freelancing or that may be looking for new opportunities. But uh, there is just tremendous demand right now for Drupal talent and a very, very uh, trickle stream of, uh, of supply uh, against that demand, particularly in the Midwest. And so um, for those of you that are, are, uh, would be interested in, you know, advancing or fleshing out your freelance career or looking at other opportunities or, or what have you. Uh, I, for one, can say that, uh, <laughs> well, I would love to have your name the next time I get a call from Tech Systems, you know, or, or whatever, because um, that, that happens quite regularly. So, so um, 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 and there, there are uh, a few other people in town that are either hiring or, or contracting or looking for consultants and, and things too. If anyone has interest in that, one of the things that we have, uh, we had historically done with these meetups, um, al although we always, always kept, kept them with a, a pretty light structure, we usually had uh, a bit of time where anyone that had any job openings or consulting needs or projects that they wanted to uh, hire out, we, we would let those people share and, and, you know, just do some networking to see if we could make some connections. So um, I'm not running the show today, so that will, that will be John's call if, there, um, if he wants to make any sort of formal allowance for that. But, uh, you know, just meet some folks as you're here and, and stuff. There is, there is plenty for everyone. Uh, I mentioned that I came into the Drupal community very much uh, the, the way you're uh, coming in, in terms of kind of uh, probably skill set and, and projects. Um, undertaken and um, Dave was a restaurant manager so that should give hope to all of you <laughs> right um, I was a freelancer. I, yeah I quit, I quit my job and I was like I saved up enough to work to not have to search for a job for like a couple of months and like worked 40 hours just contributing to Drupal like and that's kind of how I got my foot in the door but I was a freelancer for quite a bit too um, working for different companies and just Hopping around uh, between different jobs and learning different skill sets, and they got more regular and more permanent as I went along. So yeah. that's a whole different type of server. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> One of the things that I have loved about working with Drupal is that it's such an expansive community in terms of the interests and specialties represented in it that you can just come in from anywhere. Uh, I remember when I was getting my start and I was doing uh, a lot of theming especially, uh, I was doing sub-theming on the Zen base theme and I would open that up and I'd you know read the read the source code and the code comments and I'd run across something like uh, you know some some CSS that had a comment in line that said this is here to accommodate source or um, um, content first source ordering or something like that. And then it had like a, a, a URL for an article on a list apart about the search engine optimization and accessibility benefits of content first source ordering. Um, and it, like that's the first specific example I remember of being like, oh, well, what's content first source ordering? I'll go read. And then all of a sudden, uh, I um, just by virtue of kind of bumping into somebody else in the Drupal community that had 
uh, John Albin is the author of uh, the Zen uh, bass theme. And he's, he's, well, in fact, he works at, at Palantir uh, with, with Dave. And I'm, I'm sure you can attest to, to his uh, chops in every... Uh <laughs> well, it's just, he's really fun because it's, well, there's a lot of people that are, you know, you could always get stuck into Drupal and doing things the same way, but there's a lot of people that are always, like, researching new things and trying to bring them in and integrate them and like John is one of those great examples uh, the maintainer of the Zen theme who's like always researching new stuff like he's researching data points as to why it's bad to have a carousel on your front page and actually using it with like our clients now and it's just he's going off and doing all these things and then bringing it back to the community and sharing that information it's just it's it's fun to like okay you're doing hard work for me that's cool let me know what your results are and that's good. Yeah. Uh, John Albin. John Albin. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We should get him here too. He's in Taiwan. Well, yeah. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get a ticket. We, we, um, I believe we already covered the more pizza. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but John John uh, Albin is, is also the uh, Drupal eight um, initiative lead for the uh, or the mobile initiative for Drupal eight um, and. Um, which I say to just kind of give an idea of like, you know, he, he's one of a handful of people that are defining the way Dr the next generation of Drupal is going to be handling the mobile problem. And you can learn from this guy because it's how open source works. He's gone and done work and commented his work and it's out there publicly where you can look at it. And, um, and so it's, it's almost like get, getting a mentorship in all of these discrete specialties. You know, when you come in and you're like, I need to make a, one of my, you know, cheap little freelance sites pretty <laughs> kind of deals. And there are so many other places uh, like that um, because there are so many disciplines, search engine optimization, mobility, accessibility, you, you know, we, we've got Drupal lawyers, you know, <laughs> even in the community. So like it, it almost doesn't matter what you do or what you're interested in doing or pursuing. There are other people in the Drupal community that are passionate about the software and are passionate about the com community and they're doing not just the code, but like their careers in the open in a way that you can benefit from and be a part of. Um, which is a, a big deal. I know that's what, what uh, sold me on the Drupal community. It was like, um, you know, with, with years of working with Microsoft stuff, my, my first web development stuff was ASP Classic, um, VB Script, you know, two <laughs> or something like that. And, uh, and so with, with a history of that, you know, like, oh, I found a bug. I'll just bring that up to Bill Gates the next time I talk to him, you know, that, that's a black hole. <laughs> but with Drupal, like what, one of the, one of the, my early experiences was, oh, here's a bug. I'll report it and then I'll watch what happens to that and then contribute and do, you know, testing on the, on the fix and write a patch if I'm capable of writing a patch and stuff. So, so, um, you know, I guess in, in short, like, we have a local community and we have a global community and like Drupal as a global community is in my judgment all about everyone participating together, being invested in, everyone together growing, leveling and, and uh, increasing in their skill professionally and, and personally. And um, I, I think uh, I can speak for myself and, and suspect that I could uh, or I can speculate on, on uh, behalf of at least a few of the rest of us here that um, those of us in the local community would like to extend that uh, so much as it depends on, on us to every one of you. So, so please uh, avail yourselves of, uh, of us to that, um, to that end. Thanks. Let's uh, grab his hand.